Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning in to this week's edition of Architects Read. Read. For those who I'm meeting for the first time, my name is Ian Walker, and I'm an emerging architect here in our nation's capital. Just wanted to share a couple quick facts about me. First and foremost, I was born in Phoenix, Arizona, and moved here to Washington, D.C. to go to college to learn how to become an architect. The second thing you should know about me is that I have a mini horse. Well, she's really just a dog, a really big dog, but all my friends think she's a horse. Her name is Harley. And last but certainly not least, the thing you guys should know about me is that I have a school bus, but the school bus is not just any regular school bus. It's one of my first projects as an architect. Now, you might be thinking, do architects drive school buses? Well, no. As important as school bus drivers are, Architects do not drive school buses, but what they can do is convert a school bus into a tiny house. Take a look at these images here so you can see the transformation from before and after of me and my school bus. We can talk more about that project later, but I just wanted to give you a sneak peek as to where I'm reading this book from. Now kids, it's important to note, not all architects work on converting school buses into tiny houses. Some architects design dream homes for families, some architects design schools that we learn in, and some architects design skyscrapers that go beyond the sky. One important thing all architects have in common is a civic duty to our community. It's important we leave a building behind that's not only aesthetically pleasing, but more importantly is safe, sound, and is built to last for the future. As we flip through the pages of this book, I want you to think about some of your favorite architectural elements or even buildings that you've been in. Think about what was it about that building that stuck out to you? Was it its windows, doors? Was it the light coming through? Think about the way it made you feel. Architecture has a powerful impact, and it's one of my favorite things about designing buildings, is that feeling, that moment when you walk in. On this week's edition of Architects Read, we'll be reading a book titled Young Frank, Architect, by Frank Viva. Young Frank is an architect. He lives in New York with his grandfather, Old Frank who is also an architect, and their dog, Eddie. The two architects have very different views on what architects do for a living. This is the story of how a trip to the Museum of Modern Art in New York helps young Frank feel older and old Frank feel younger and a little wiser. Young Frank's apartment is on the top floor of this tall building. He is an architect. He lives with his spotted dog, Eddie, and his grandpa, Old Frank, who is also an architect. Young Frank makes things. He uses anything he can get his hands on. Macaroni, books, dishes, spoons, dogs. Dogs? Not Eddie. Yes, even Eddie. But only sometimes. One morning, young Frank made a chair using toilet paper rolls. Hmm, said old Frank. I don't think architects make chairs. And you can't really sit in this one, can you? I guess not, said young Frank. He also made a skyscraper out of books. Hmm, buildings should be straight, said old Frank. Not twisted and wiggly. Hey, are those my books? Just before lunch, young Frank designed a whole city. Hmm, said old Frank. Cities are made one building at a time and take hundreds of years. At lunch, young Frank said, Grandpa, I'm not sure I want to be an architect anymore. Hmm, said old Frank. I know. 
let's go to the museum. I think it will be very good for you to see the work of some real architects. Don't you? Hmm? I haven't been to the museum in years and years, said old Frank. Me neither, said young Frank. They saw lots of things, including a wiggly chair designed by an architect named Frank. Old Frank looked at it sideways. A twisted tower by an architect named Frank. Old Frank cleaned his glasses. They also saw a giant model of a whole city designed by another architect named Frank. Are all architects named Frank? asked young Frank. I don't think so, said old Frank. When they got home, old Frank said, hmm, architects really do make chairs and twisted towers and cities too. I guess I was wrong. That's okay, Grandpa, said young Frank. Even I don't know some things. That evening, young Frank and old Frank made chairs. Chairs with zigzags, chairs with crazy legs, and a little chair that was perfect for Eddie. They made buildings of every shape and size. Tall ones, fat ones, round ones, and one made from chocolate chip cookies? Eddie, don't eat the library, said young Frank. And please, get back on your chair. When they were done, they had a whole city. Woof, said Eddie. Shh, Eddie, said young Frank. Stay until I tell you. Good boy. Later that night, when young Frank was tucked in his bed, he felt a bit older, like a real architect. For his part, old Frank felt younger and a little wiser. Oof, said Eddie. All right, gang, that wraps up this week's edition of Architects Read. Again, my name is Ian Walker, and I just wanted to say I had a blast reading this story to you, and I hope to catch you guys this time next week for our next book and activity. I look forward to learning even more with you guys. Thanks again. Take care.